This week I put together a little video of how to keep organized. So every week I have to divide my time between my part-time job, our blog, which involves writing articles, um, contacting customers, replying to people if they're having any issues and doing all our marketing, social media, all that kind of thing. Also I'm studying a Bachelor of Psychology and I'm studying an Advanced Diploma of Nutritional Medicine and trying to find time for the gym and sometimes have a life would be good too and YouTube and stuff of course so for me keeping organized is massive really really important and if I forget to do some of these things I start to fall off track and then it just gets bad and anyway if some of these tips are able to help you give me a thumbs up that would be awesome and let's jump into it right now so any important dates, I like to put up on a little note wall. I grab some brown card and a marker and I just write what's due on what day. And I have these little pegs that I got from a craft store. Then I just peg the note up onto some wire fencing that I got from a hardware shop. Instead of a to-do list, I have a to-do book. So I have a calendar diary and whatever needs to get done on particular days, I write that down. If there's something that you don't get done on that day, move it over to the next day. So eventually it does get finished. Wait a minute, baby. Now I like to use my phone calendar for things like assignment due dates because I find it's really handy with the alarms that I can set up. I use Sol Calendar, that's S-O-L Calendar. It has a little to-do list if you need it. And then in the calendar, I like to be able to customize it. You can put pictures in, you can put symbols in. And then I like to set a couple of alarms. So one on the day and one about a week or six days or so before the actual assignment is due. I don't know what to call this, so I'll just call it my scribble book. I always have two of these with me, one for general stuff and one for blog related things. Anything I think of, I just put it down in there. So blog post ideas or website page ideas, anything like that just goes in this book. I thought I'd show just how I keep my uni notes organized. If you want a full video on this, let me know. In the back of my book, I put the dates of the weeks and what we're up to in that week and if there's anything due, just so I have a whole timeline there. And then with all my research and everything, I like to put all my references at the top and any individual points underneath that, including all the page numbers. So when it comes time to write my assignment, everything is right there for me. If you have any of the same weird habits that I do, let me know in the comments below. That would be awesome. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can see you next time. Bye guys. Spooky Nico said, how heavy of weights did you begin lifting with? I'm always afraid I'm going to lift too heavy and hurt myself, so I probably don't reach my full potential. <laughs> when I started.